so we are performing the modified allen's test so this test is performed to assess the patency of the hand in terms of patency of the radial and the ulnar vessels so first we ask the patient to clench their fist hand up and down for a couple of times and then clench it firmly after which we block the radial and ulnar vessels instead of this you can also ask the patient to elevate the hand which is done in the classical allen's test now we ask the patient to open his wrist open his fist so once the fist is open you can appreciate that the hand is pale now i am releasing the ulnar artery and you can see that the color of the hand has changed on an average around 8 to 9 to approximately 10 seconds time should be adequate now we repeat the same test again we ask the patient to clench his fist we again block the radial and ulnar vessels we ask the patient to open the uh, forearm open the hand we can see that the hand is a pale now initially we had released the ulnar vessel now we release the radial vessels so we can see that the pink color is appearing so this is a positive allen's test positive allen's test indicates that both the radial and ulnar are patent when we compress the radial and release the ulnar the patency is maintained when we compress the ulnar and release the radial the patency is maintained positive allen's indicates that you can go ahead with harvesting of a radial forearm flap you can go ahead with doing a radiocephalic av fistula and negative allen's means there is compromised vascularity in those cases it is not advisable to uh, go ahead and harvest the radial artery so this is the modified allen's test thank you